Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Chad is here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased technical analysis. Yes, the spy went up, rejected at that triangle pattern that I talked to you guys about uh, last week and it was just a free fall for the rest of the day. We're going to talk about that, but first, here is the flow sentiment. It is bearish as usual, put flows 83% into puts. Yeah, and the call flow 17%, filter for 500k premiums or above. Still seeing a lot of big money coming in, out the money puts for that September 16th date. A lot of money, big money, man to the downside as usual, okay? Here's the new thing I've been doing. I've been showing you guys the dark pool orders, okay? Dark pool worked very well helping us with intraday trading today. But uh, the biggest accumulation or maybe... Uh, distribution. I don't know what it is. We don't know if it's a buy or sell, but at that 385.16 level, we had over $776.4 million in premium, okay? And also around 381.94, okay? So those two levels were big, uh, you know, a lot of activities at those levels. Uh, so definitely watch out, especially for that 385 level. If Spy can definitely recapture that level, uh, it could possibly go back and test the triangle pattern. Uh, resistant of the triangle pattern around 389 ish 385.5 ish okay so here is my discord where i write all my plans my trade ideas my commentaries okay um and i mentioned here about i talked about a little bit about the rsi here this morning how the spy gapped up into a critical resistant level but the rsi and the rsi that i use is rsi 7 on the four hour chart that's my favorite Okay, and I talked about here, RSI 7 for our chart. It's pretty overbought and not ideal for a breakout. Wrote it right there, okay, guys? All right, but as usual, the bear case and the bull case, I have it there. Today, we played the bear case. With the 4-hour RSI overbought, a pullback is possible, okay? I don't want to do no prediction because that's, that's not what I do, okay? Since first resistance is at 388.5, then first support is at 385.5 to 386 zone, then 383.5 to 384. If SPY gives us a strong rejection and takes out support, look for puts, okay? I also have here, if SPY does break out above 388.5 but fails to hold, I will look for puts and play the false breakout, okay? Also keep in mind, guys, that's not the only post I write. I write other posts, and uh, as the day develop i identified other levels that i was watching which was the 387.5 level and also through the dog pool orders we was also watching 388.3 so keep that in mind so you, this is the 15 minute chart where i execute my trades the plan was look for a strong rejection from the 388.5 level or watch for a false breakout okay so the market opened here and it cleared it closed above 388.5 this blue trend line right here that you see is my triangle pattern 388.5 it closed above and it rejected at this green trend line which is my falling wedge pattern on the daily chart okay and as you can see it closed below 388.5 so that right there to me was a false breakout okay and i entered puts all right following my plan that i share with everybody else on the very next candle it back tested that 388.5 level as a resistant, rejected and shot down to the 387.5 level, which was pre-market low. Okay, I took some profits there. I left. I didn't. I usually take about 90% profit, but I ended up just only taking half the profit here. Okay, and before leaving a runner, and then it just chopped. That was very hard to trade. I had in the money puts. Okay, uh, about f uh, you know weekly. All right, so next week was going to expire. So the theta didn't hurt me too much, but it didn't help neither, okay? Now, mind you, small. I was in the small profit, left a runner, a decent-sized runner, and here's where it sucked for me. I was watching at 388.3 level, which is the yellow line, and here is where it recaptured, okay? The spy recaptured that level, so I stopped out. However, here's where it got great. Right here, failed to hold. Another false breakout of the of a resistant level okay however i did not enter it for some reason i was feeling a little nervous or whatever but it did on the next candle back tested that breakdown level as a resistant before pushing down okay this is the back test and go strategy guys it works very well i one of my favorite trades uh trading tactics okay and i made a video about it in the link in the description below please check it out if you want to learn about it, okay but mind you i had the 387.5 level 
right here, well, 0 0.6, 37.6 is, that's where I look for my next puts. Boom. I wrote in the in the in the plan this morning, guys. Look for uh, puts when a support fails. You short the failure of support. That's what I do every single day. It doesn't always work as much as I like, but more often than not, it does work very well. And as you can see, boom, breaking down. Had the next zone at 385 to 386. I took some profits there, sh shaved off some profits, about half. Back tested 386 as resistance, pushed down to 385. I took even more profits. Okay, I just kept taking profits at every level that got hit. You know, all the way down. It went as low as 380.6. I had a support zone around 380 to 380.5. It got pretty close before bouncing. But overall, guys, the strategy works very well. What does Uncle Charters do? He longs or look for calls when a resistance clears or I short or look for puts when a support fails. Okay? Now, here is the daily chart. No, this is not the daily chart. This is the four-hour chart, okay? No coincidence with the SPY decided to reject today, okay? It rejected from, first of all, the falling wedge pattern, the green falling wedge pattern that I got right here. You guys can see multiple tests on, as a resistant here starting from up there. And here it is, another test, rejection. Strong, strong rejection, all right? So the next critical Support level I got, and you guys know probably know what I'm going to say, but it is that 380 level. All right, that 380 level is based on the 38.2 retracement level of my FIB levels. Oh, I don't have it here. Okay, sorry about that. Do I have it? Yes, I do have it. Yes, it is based on the 38.2 retracement level of my FIB levels from March 2020 low to January uh, 2022 high. Just trying to find, get back to where I was, and here I am okay so it must hold if it fails breakdown level of this triangle pattern is at uh 379 378.5 ish guys all right if you guys thought today was a nice big move to the downside wait until you see the breakdown of this triangle pattern it's going to be beautiful it's going to be very beautiful all right i believe there's going to be a big move if we can get a breakdown or a breakout i'm open to either uh scenario okay probably a ten dollar move or more all right, so remember, support is at 380, breakdown level triangle patterns at 378.5 to 379 zone. For me to be bullish, as always, SPY needs to just recapture some previous failed support levels. As of right now, it's at 382.4, which makes 384 the next resistant level, then 386. Okay, we need to clear those levels to put three a test of this resistant level in play once again. Keep in mind, it slopes down, so... Resistant level for it tomorrow would be around 387.7 ish, even based on the falling wedge. It's around 387.7 to 8 ish, okay? So basically, to be safe, above 388 is the breakout of the triangle pattern and the falling wedge pattern, which would be bullish, and we could possibly go up and test 398 or even higher, okay? But remember, below 380, very bearish with 378.5 in play and that's breakdown level and we could drop all the way down to 371 okay i do have a support right here I had multiple tests right there so if it tests again it's around 371 to 370 zone break that down holy moly we're going to drop down to 363 which i got the next support based on my falling wedge pattern so as of right now guys overall i'm going to be bearish unless spy can recapture that 386 level okay if we can recapture 386 i will favor another test of this triangle pattern as well as the falling wedge and if it can break out above 388 would be great for the bulls all right but right as of right now i'm overall bearish let's see what happens at 380 and 378.5 if it tests okay moving on to the vix vix overall green day it is close above much much higher than it did close last Friday, but it did not recapture any critical resistant levels. That critical resistant level being 25.4, it needs to get back above that to go test the triangle, breakdown of the triangle pattern, which is at 26.83. And it'll be very bullish if it gets above that because that will be a, a, a recapture, false breakdown scenario, okay? But as long as below 25.44, I am bearish on the VIX, all right? Triple Q almost tested the resistance level of the triangle pattern. 
okay but i did based on this red line had some support around 295.6s rejected from there took out that 293.43 level that's a very critical level guys and it just shot right down to 291 through that closed just above my 289 support level okay so for me to be bullish it just needs to recap to 291 that will put 293.43 back in play then above that 295.6s then let's see if it can retest that resistance of the triangle pattern at 296.8 okay if two uh 289 fails though 287 then uh possibly go down and test the support of this triangle pattern at 284.4 that's the breakdown level guys if it breaks down very very bearish uh dow jones gap and crap it gapped up out of this you know multi-month trend line but overall it closed back below it okay and under my 312.4 uh, level okay so only bullish if that level is recaptured it needs to get above 312.4 break out of this multi-month trend line around 313.4 that's how it's going to be bullish for me but as of right now it's in false breakout mode because last week it did it did clear 312.4 but now it closed back below that's false breakdown mode okay so that's resistant uh got gap all the way down at 306.7 is and then support at 305.5, 303.6, 301.45. And if those fails, holy moly, we could go back and test 297-ish. All right? IWM, interesting. While everybody else was bearish, IWM did not follow. And it did break out of this triangle pattern. Very, very interesting. So 175.6 must hold as support tomorrow for this breakout to hold. That would put 179, then 180.78 in play. Okay, if it goes back below 175.5-ish, 174.3, gap fill at 173.2, then a possible test of triangle support at 170 is back in play. Okay, now Apple, I talked about how we had this rising channel here and it broke out last week. And boy, oh boy, that's a strong false breakout if you ask me. Now, resistant is at 148 and then 150 above okay so it needs to clear and recapture 148 and 150 to be bullish again because as of right now apple's in false breakout mode and as long as below 148 i'm favoring we go test 145 143.5 and maybe the support of this rising channel which is all the way down at 140 below 140 all hell is gonna break loose the bills will love it though tesla okay so we talked about tesla i mentioned if it can get break out of this triangle pattern again possibly go test that 752 level it went as high as 751.55 once again uncle charters was a few cents off with tesla however most important thing we need to note is that it closed below that 727 level okay that served that strong resistance last week it was above it it should have been support but it did not hold so as long as we're below 727 707 is next and if that fails look for puts guys look for puts with 686.7 and possibly support down here at where is that at 669 in play below 669 possibly drop all the way down to 636 637 around that zone okay so to be bullish remember it needs to just get back above 727 and actually hold it this time because as of right now i'm bearish on tesla okay guys so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys love if you guys like uncle charter's technical analysis on youtube i truly believe you will love the content i put in my discord so definitely please consider joining if not it's all good you are still part of uncle charles's youtube community please if you're not already please subscribe and turn on that notification button uh bell and please hit the like button too thanks guys peace